Okay, so far we've learned how to interchange motorways, highways, freeways, whatever, with reasonably minor roads, you know, sort of B roads, maybe a dual carriageway of some sort. Now if we want to accommodate greater traffic flow, I mean much greater, uh, we need a completely free-flowing junction. You can use a roundabout interchange, like I showed you in the last video, as a perfectly good terminus for a important road such as a dual carriageway and even another motorway. Uh, for example, the M50 in this country starts with a roundabout junction at the M5. But if you need something a little more, handle more traffic than a roundabout interchange, what you need is a trumpet interchange. So I'm going to show you how to create that now. What we could also do is we could create embankments and bung a bridge over the top, but I'm going to show you a different way of going over the top of a motorway. And that is with using a tunnel, which is incredibly useful in urban environments because it generally that's what you find is instead of fully fledged flyovers are cut and cover tunnels. So what we need are our ground lifter. There we are. And this time drag out a full road to create a complete embankment like this. And instead of flattening from the top of the <coughs> from the top of our embankment we've created, flatten from about there. That'll do nicely. And create it six long or so, about there, yep. Yeah. Now, to create the actual tunnel, you need at least two squares of ground to create the tunnel entrance. So what we do is add a couple there and the other side delete them, our flattening streets, and then hop onto avenues, start from here and drag across to the other side. Make sure it turns green and then pow you have a tunnel going underneath a short section of ground just above it. Okay, Let me just add a slope in here. Oh, That's gonna be daft. Let's start from there. There we are. Let's just delete those bits. Right, so let us start with the easy movements, that is northbound, remember I drive on the left so that will be this side, northbound movement to our westbound carriageway and the westbound carriageway to southbound. Uh, so those are, the, those are the easy parts, so let's hop into our interchange ramps go along to style B about about there will do and place one on the other side as well that will be at the same distance away I think so there-ish yeah it looks good okay now go to your rural highway and drag it out of it that's drag it to there and to here and add another so okay there we are make sure you have the complete MIS rather than from here you see there's that little stub of two-way we don't want that because we'll be interfacing with a one-way road it needs two tiles of MIS to do so okay so grab your one-way road now one-way roads and f from here, remember your direction of travel of course, and drag it into and out from your MIS ramps you've just made. Now, in your avenue, drag them outwards, back one from that, drag them outwards, it has to be outwards, if you drag them inwards it goes all the way across the avenue and you don't want that. You can change this direction quite easily, 
like so. You see it's facing the correct direction now. Okay, so there we have the easy movements done. Now what we're going to do, i just delete that back a couple, and redo that because it's gone all random, so is add in a couple of one-way stubs on the end of your avenue like that. Just make sure you've got the direction of travel correct. And on the top of our tunnel just here, hop into your starter pieces and tab across until you reach MIS ramp starter piece. And remember, keep your yellow lines together from there. Drag them outwards. Now it's very important, especially when you're interfacing two fast moving roads, to give these a little bit of space, more space than you would on a roundabout interchange or a path, partial cloverleaf or any, any of the others I showed you how to make before. Because these are generally used to create free-flowing interchanges between faster moving roads, if you're after a good degree of realism make sure that your curves are a little bit wider than you normally would do like so and I'm just going to do the other side you notice that first one I dragged around and back on itself kind of like a partial cloverleaf this one goes on the other side of it and faces the other direction and now you can see the direction of traffic movement a little more clearly. Right, so all I need to do now is delete those two bits and add in my ramps, like so. And I'm done. Now we have it. That is a completed trumpet interchange. You know, there's a 270 degree curve goes back on itself here for one of the movements, and that's why, although it's used trumpet interchanges, they are very good for reasonably large volumes of traffic that they do have a finite limit because of that incredibly steep loop here. Uh, if you were the next stage up, I will show you how to make in the next video, and that is a directional T. So, yeah, there you have it. One trumpet interchange.